Tonight on the Wallingford Sports Show, it's an all-catch program as we talk about the loss for Kentucky yesterday, what it means for Coach Cal, for the players, and for the program in a whole. All that and more coming up right now on the Wallingford Sports Show. This is a special sports presentation of the Wallingford Broadcasting Company. Sports fans, it's time for the Wallingford Sports Show. The Wallingford Sports Show is served up by Buffalo Wild Wings. And also brought to you in part by Jack Burford Chevrolet, the law office of Patrick O'Neill, King Brothers Used Cars, and Honchels. Now let's go live inside the Jack Burford Chevrolet studios discussing the hottest sports topics around. Here are your hosts, Michael Watkins and Samantha Burford. Welcome in everyone to Buffalo Wild Wings in the Richmond Center. I am Michael Watkins. And it seemed like Eventually, Auburn was able to kind of key in on that month or so. Didn't really have it. Uh, he, he had a big three at one point in the game, and I think he had seven or nine points. I'll pull up the final stats here in a few minutes. But uh, w when you look at this team for Kentucky, you have to, to kind of wonder who, who was going to step up and make the big play. Because late in the game, you had P.J. Washington getting the basketball, Auburn keying on him, and you had to find somebody else. Somebody else had to step up and make a play for Kentucky. Kelton Johnson forced up some shots. Hero didn't really force up any anything, but the shots that he had that were there for him throughout the entire season, he was making those. He did not make them on Sunday. So the box score looked like this for the Cats. Reed Travis had nine points, six rebounds. He only attempted five shots. He was four or five from the field. Uh, seven points for Hero, 10 for Hagens, 14 for Keldon Johnson. Montgomery, who started for Washington, had no points in eight minutes. Uh, Washington had 37 minutes. He had 28 points, 13 rebounds with 10 and 18 from the field. But the free throws is what really, really played Kentucky yesterday as the Cats uh, just they could not knock down the free throws. As a team, 12 of 21, you miss nine free throws, you lose by six, the game goes into overtime, it's a close game throughout the entire second half, and when you needed to make a free throw, you missed one, and, and Washington himself, I think he missed five, he was six of 11, but three times he went to the free throw line and missed the front end of a one and one, and you just can't have that in a situation like the Cats were in yesterday. You gotta knock down your free throws, you can't turn the ball over, all that stuff kinda going into effect an aggressive salesman, they strive to make you feel comfortable and help you find the car you're looking for at the best price possible. Stop by today and get your key and drive off in a new-to-you vehicle from King Brothers Used Cars on West Lexington Avenue in Winchester. Or stop by their Facebook page for updates and their website, kingbrotherscars.com, to check out their inventory. King Brothers Used Cars, family-owned and time-tested since 1966. Honchels in Irvin is your year-round stop for Carhartt Eyeside Lee Jeans and Boots. Prepare yourself for hunting with a huge selection of Carhartt bibs, coats, and other hunting gear. Don't forget about the big selection of hunting and work boots from Wolverine, Justin, Rocky, and more. As always, Honchels carries all the latest in Kentucky and Estill Engineer apparel and Skechers and New Balance for the little ones. The same great staff, same great personalized service, always at Honchels on the Richmond Road in Irvin. Patrick O'Neill has been serving Central and Eastern Kentucky since 1995. When someone is accused of something they didn't do, or when a good person makes a mistake, they need the best representation they can find. And that's Patrick O'Neill. Whether it's criminal defense, social security, disability, personal injury, workers' compensation, or deeds and wills, when you need legal advice, trust the expertise of Patrick O'Neill. He will get you the money you deserve. His office is located in Jackson, but Patrick practices all over Central and Eastern Kentucky. For more information or for a free consultation, call 606-66. Escape to sports with Buffalo Wild Wings. GM Tommy Martin invites you to come watch your favorite team play at Buffalo Wild Wings. The best game day atmosphere and happy hour in town. Menu items as low as $2 each, each weekday, 2 to 7, and again 10 till close. Plus, wing specials every Tuesday and Thursday. Don't forget to ask your server about the Blazing Rewards program and see how you can earn free food. Buffalo Wild Wings, Richmond Center. We've got kinetic blue.
At King Brothers Used Cars in Winchester, you don't have to worry about the hassles of dealing with an aggressive salesman. They strive to make you feel comfortable and help you find the car you're looking for at the best price possible. Stop by today and get your key and drive off in a new-to-you vehicle from King Brothers Used Cars on West Lexington Avenue in Winchester. Or stop by their Facebook page for updates and their website kingbrotherscars.com to check out their inventory. King Brothers Used Cars, family-owned and time-tested since 1966. Back at Buffalo Wild Wings in the Richmond Center. Glad to have you along. Michael Watkins here for the Wallingford Sports Show. And uh, talking about the Cats yesterday and their loss to Auburn. And the big hoopla after the game was John Calipari once again being outcoached or outmanned. And Cats fans, you, if you watch the show repeatedly, you know how I feel about Kentucky fans. I always hate the complaining and the constant gripping after a loss. Every single loss is the end of the world. Every single win is our team is better than everybody's team. When you look at, at the loss yesterday, to me, the, there was a couple of adjustments that Cal made throughout the game that went under, underrated, if, if you want to say. The double teaming of Brown late in the game after he got hot really allowed Kentucky to make a run that was even able to get the game into overtime. Uh, you, you know, he, he, you could say, why did he, why did he leave Hagen's? in the game when he was turning the ball over so many times. Well, you bring quickly in, you lose a little bit on defense, and quickly is not as good as a, of a ball handler or hasn't shown that at least as Hagens is. So you lose a little bit there if you go with quickly over Hagens. And one more thing you could have done is maybe ran some more offense uh, than just the, the posting up of P.J. Washington. Yeah, that, that could have happened, but nobody else was making plays. I mean, Hero couldn't make a shot. Hagen's was turning the ball over. Keldon Johnson was forcing up shots. And Travis just didn't seem to really get in the flow of the game. So, to me, I think the only thing we, could, we were able to do there was to go to P.J. Washington. Uh, and today I, I saw people kind of complaining about Cal once again. And I just want to kind of go through some of the stats that Kentucky has had since Cal has been there. In Cal's 10 seasons at Kentucky, he has 305 wins, which is second in U.K. history. He has 31 tournament wins, five-time SEC regular season titles, six SEC tournament titles, seven Elite Eights, four Final Fours, and you can't not forget about the 2012 National Championship. And a couple of those are the most in the country in that span. The 305 wins is the most in the country. The 31 tournament wins is the most in the country. The seven Elite Eights and the four Final Fours all are the most in the country in that span. More than Coach K, more than Bill Self, more than Roy Williams. Calipari has defeated all of them as far as the numbers go. Now you, you, you look over and some of the other things that he has done. Uh, before Cal had got to Kentucky, UK had not reached the Final Four since 1998. Of course, we've won the title then. He is the second winningest coach in UK history behind Adolf Rupp. And if you want to compare him to Roy Williams and Coach K, since Cal arrived at Kentucky, national championships. Cal has one, Roy Williams has one, and Coach K has two. Runner-up, so the, I guess, second place in the uh, tournament. Cal has one of those. Roy has one. K has zero. Final fours. Calipari has four of those. Roy Williams and Coach K combined have four with two apiece. Elite eights. Cal has seven of those. Roy Williams has four. Coach K has five. Sweet 16s. Calipari has eight. Roy Williams has six. Coach K has seven. Second round losses. Coach Cal and Coach K each have one. Roy has three. First round losses, Cal and Roy have zero, and Coach K has two since Cal got to Kentucky. So you look at all the numbers, if you want to compare him to, to Coach K and Roy Williams, the numbers favor Cal apart. And, and if, you, if you want to compare those guys, to me, I think it's easy to say that Cal has gotten the most success or has had the most success in his 10 years at Kentucky compared to those guys. Now, our Facebook poll question today, if Austin could pull that up for us, was about Coach K and Calipari. Uh, the question today was, if you, if you look at the losses yesterday, obviously Duke, the number one overall seed, 
uh, was the favorite heading into the tournament over pretty much uh, – they, they were the favorite, according to Vegas, in the NCAA tournament. And going into the game yesterday, had a pretty big test in Michigan State, but in 12 meetings, Coach K had defeated Tom Izzo 11 times. He only had one loss versus Michigan State in his time at Duke whenever he faced off against Tom Izzo. So our question today on the Law Office of Patrick O'Neill Facebook poll was this. Which coach should get more heat for his team's loss yesterday, Coach K or Coach Cal? And 64% say Coach K and Duke should get more heat for the loss. 36% say John Calipari and Kentucky. And uh, some of the thoughts from some of our viewers on WBON-TV, Michael Higginbotham comments Coach Cal. Lauren Bishop says Coach K. He was the overall number one seed, the best recruiting class. Easiest bracket, but that's why we play the games. Neither one should catch any heat, really. Uh, Michael Dubel says number one seed overall. Didn't get the ball to Zion Williamson the last a minute 40 of the game, so by far it should be Duke and Coach K. Christopher Kress says, back in 2012 when UK had the best player in college, Anthony Davis, UK won the championship. Duke has three of the top five players and can't make it to a Final Four and almost lost two other times and would have if UFC or UCF didn't have to play five on eight. So he's talking about the officials there. And then uh, Maxim Milano Hines says, well, UK didn't have Zion Williamson, which is true. And uh, Jeremy Walsh has an interesting opinion. How about neither? It's college basketball, and sometimes you just get outplayed. Both games were instant classics, players playing their guts out, and refs staying out of the way. I know that Christian Leitner made a shot, and a lot of people have been mad ever since. But Duke and Kentucky are both great programs. Sometimes the one-and-dones don't get it done. Sometimes the Ks and the Cows get out coached, but the Smiths and the Jones, and then sometimes the ball just bounces the wrong way. So that's the thought coming from Jeremy Wash there. To me, I think that if, if Kentucky had this team that Coach K had and did not make it to the Final Four, forget winning it, making it to the Final Four, he would, be, he would have been crucified at Kentucky. Wildcats fans would have had his head. They would have been calling for his job. Uh, they would have just been ready to get rid of him. They already wanted to do that with, that with the class we had this year. And if we had had the team that Duke had and didn't make it as far, then I can only imagine what UK fans would have been saying. Uh, for, for this team that we had this year, I think we kind of overachieved. Now, the tournament was set up for us to make a run. We played Abilene Christian. We played Wofford, who really shouldn't have been. That game shouldn't have been that close. We played a Houston team that came from a smaller conference. So it was set up for us to make a long run. But if you look at this team, the way they played throughout the year, being inconsistent, uh, not really having, other than P.J. Washington, that one guy that could really go out and dominate a game, I think we made it further than you would say that we may have deserved. I don't think this team, talent-wise, was an Elite Eight team. Uh, I, I think if you look at the way our guys played during the tournament, getting to where we got, even without P.J., is a huge accomplishment because our best player was out, and we still won two games. Uh, so I think for us to have gotten as far as we did is a pretty big deal, considering P.J. didn't play two games. Uh, these guys were inconsistent all year long and never really showed that they could be a dominant team and make it to a Final Four. Uh, we've got an update. Uh, Tom Zila Gross has updated that Kentucky basketball coach John Calipari will finish his coaching career in Kentucky. A U.K. spokesman confirmed to Wave 3 Sports Director Kent Taylor on Monday that the school has agreed to terms on a long-term contract with Cal to finish his career at Kentucky. So we were talking about that and how UCLA had came in today, I think offered Cal a six-year deal worth around $10 million per season. Kentucky has kind of upped their game and have now given basically Cal a lifetime contract at the university, and I think that is the right move. Yeah. If you get rid of Calipari, who do you bring in? You know, a couple of seasons ago, ago, I would have said, please give me Brad Stevens. If Cal hangs him up soon, give me Brad Stevens to take over the program. 
Well, first of all, Brad Stevens is now competing for championships in the NBA. He's not going to be coming back to college basketball, at least I don't think so. Um, and there's not really a big name out there that might become available. Tom Izzo probably doesn't leave Michigan State. Uh, you know, I don't think Bill Self leaves Kansas for Kentucky. So if you lose Cal, you're going to have to kind of make a big splash. And there's not really a name out there that I can think of that would be a coach that keeps the program kind of that luster. And even for him to go to UCLA, I don't think that's really Calipari style. UCLA is uh, a program that's not what it used to be. And what I've been seeing and hearing on TV and radio is that UCLA wants to bring somebody in kind of from within their system. They offered Cal. That would be a big get for their program. But it's not what UCLA fans might want. We are live here at Buffalo Wild Wings tonight. Glad to have you along. Don't forget to come over here and try out the best burgers in town. Newly fresh, never frozen burgers here at Buffalo Wild Wings in the Richmond Center. And uh, it is always a great place to come over and check out a ball game. I know Kentucky is no longer in the tournament, but those final four games should be very fun to watch. You've got a Virginia team who likes to slow it down and play good defense against an Auburn team that likes to get up and down the floor and score a lot of points. So that game should be fun. And on the other side, you've got Texas Tech and Michigan State, two teams that are very well coached and like to play kind of that grinded-out style. That game should be fun. And then the championship is really up for grabs. To me, I feel like Michigan State-Virginia might be the best game for the national championship, but whoever it is should be a fun game. And whatever the case is, guys, you've got to get over here and take up Buffalo Wild Wings. If you've never watched a game here, it's a great atmosphere, a great place to catch a game. And the best part about watching a game here at B-Dubs is if, let's say, you, you want to watch an NBA game and you want to keep an eye on a baseball game. Well, they've got a ton of TV surrounding us here. You could watch one game, and they'll set you up with another game on another TV. So it's a great atmosphere here at Buffalo Wild Wings in the Richmond Center. I'm Michael Watkins. Glad to have you along. When we come back, we'll discuss who should leave, who should stay at Kentucky and, of course, we will talk about the players they have coming in next year as well. Don't go anywhere, folks, live at Buffalo Wild Wings. This is the Walling for Sports Show. At King Brothers Used Cars in Winchester, you don't have to worry about the hassles of dealing with an aggressive salesman. They strive to make you feel comfortable and help you find the car you're looking for at the best price possible. Stop by today and get your key and drive off in a new-to-you vehicle from King Brothers Used Cars on West Lexington Avenue in Winchester. Or stop by their Facebook page for updates and their website, kingbrotherscars.com, to check out their inventory. King Brothers Used Cars, family-owned and time-tested since 1966. Ponchels in Irvin is your year-round stop for Carhartt Isod Lee jeans and boots. Prepare yourself for hunting with a huge selection of Carhartt bibs, coats, and other hunting gear. Don't forget about the big selection of hunting and work boots from Wolverine, Justin, Rocky, and more. As always, Honchels carries all the latest in Kentucky and Estelle Engineer apparel and Skechers and New Balance for the little ones. The same great staff, same great personalized service, always at Honchels on the Richmond Road in Irvin. Patrick O'Neill has been serving Central and Eastern Kentucky since 1995. When someone is accused of something they didn't do, or when a good person makes a mistake, they need the best representation they can find. And that's Patrick O'Neill. Whether it's criminal defense, social security, disability, personal injury, workers' compensation, or deeds and wills, when you need legal advice, trust the expertise of Patrick O'Neill. He will get you the money you deserve. His office is located in Jackson, but Patrick practices all over Central and Eastern Kentucky. For more information or for a free consultation, call 606-66. 662990. Escape to sports with Buffalo Wild Wings. GM Tommy Martin invites you to come watch your favorite team play at Buffalo Wild Wings. The best game day atmosphere and happy hour in town. Menu items as low as $2 each, each weekday, 2 to 7, and again 10 till close. Plus, wing specials every Tuesday and Thursday. Don't forget to ask your server about the Blazing Rewards program and see how you can earn free food. Buffalo Wild Wings, Richmond Center. We've got Kinetic Blue. We've got Cajun Red. We've got Storm Blue Metallic. We've got Mosaic Black Metallic. We've got Summit White. What are we talking about? Jack Burford Chevrolet Equinoxes. You can get up to $8,000 off on select Chevy Equinox models. Check them out at jackburford.com and be sure to subscribe to our Jack Burford Chevrolet YouTube channel too.
Back at Buffalo Wild Wings in the Richmond Center, this is the Walling for Sports Show. Literally, while we were discussing Coach Cal and Coach K during our last uh, segment, it has been agreed upon that John Calipari will stay at Kentucky. He has agreed to a contract extension with the Wildcats and with the university. The deal would be a combination of a head coaching position extension and a paid role as an ambassador after his retirement. And this came from ESPN staff reporter Jeff Borzello. We can confirm that the University of Kentucky has agreed to terms on a long-term contract with Coach Cal to finish his career at Kentucky. A, a school spokesperson said it has nothing to do with the other stuff people call every year. He said they presented it to me, and I appreciate it. It's coming from Coach Cal. Where else would I want to coach? He added. Calipari, whose current contract at Kentucky runs through 2024, is the highest paid basketball coach in the country with total compensation of $9.2 million this year, according to the USA Today Sports Database. He also receives a reported ret retention bonus of $2.6 million in each of the next three Julys. And uh, so Coach Cowan, the report today is now that he is staying at Kentucky after signing a contract extension and uh, we'll keep him at the university through the length of his contract and uh, his entire coaching career. And after he retires, he will become an ambassador for the school. Now that leads into next season. Who will be there to play for Coach Cal and who will be there to play for the Wildcats? Uh, before we get into who should stay or who should go, let's talk about the guys that the Cats have coming in next season. Uh, the big name, as we look on the ESPN top 10, or the uh, rivals, excuse me, top 10, we've got two guys coming in at number 8 and number 9. Khalil Whitney is a small forward. He is a five-star recruit. He is 6'6", 185. He is coming in out of uh, New Jersey. And Tyrese Maxey, a five-star point guard, coming in out of Garland, Texas. He is the number 9 rated prospect, according to two rivals. So we have those two guys coming in to play next season. We also have another verbal from Keon Brooks, who is a small forward out of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, Brooks, a guy who's a very good athlete. He is committed to play for Kentucky. And then, although the recruiting is not done, we have another small forward, the number 55 overall prospect from here in Kentucky, who played at Pendleton County. Dante Allen, who tore his ACL this year playing high school basketball, he is also committed to play for the Cats. So those four guys, three small forwards and a point guard coming in as part of next year's recruiting class. To a lot of names out there, a lot of guys that haven't committed. And if you look at that recruiting class, there is one thing that sticks out, no size, no big men. And of course, we know we're losing Reed Travis to graduation. Possibly P.J. Washington. I would say more than likely P.J. goes to play in the NBA. So who else stays? Who else goes for Kentucky? After watching that game yesterday, I don't think there is any of these guys who can go to the NBA and actually get playing time. Uh, now, obviously, the NBA game is different. Some of these guys might be even better suited for the NBA. But I don't think Keldon Johnson is an NBA player right now. He might get drafted. He might even go higher in the draft than P.J. Washington. But what NBA team is going to give him minutes? What does he do that guys that are already in the NBA do not do? Johnson is a very good athlete. But if he was going to be a really good NBA player next year, he would have dominated that Wofford game. Dominated. He, he, he never really took over. Except early on in the season, he was by far our best player. But after about maybe mid-December, he never looked like a guy who could be that go-to player for a college team. So who, can, who is he and what kind of role can he play in the NBA? Tyler Hero, a great spot-up shooter, by far the best shooter on the team this year, maybe our best shooter since Devin Booker. But is he really good enough to go and play in the NBA right now? He was inconsistent throughout the entire season. Uh, hit the big shot against Houston, but he – and most of the time of the season, he was kind of lackluster on defense. He was a great rebounder for his position, but I don't think he is ready to go play in the NBA right now. Ashton Hagens, he can't shoot, and you got to be able to shoot in today's NBA. Guys like Rajon Rondo, who have made a living by passing the basketball, Hagens is not even great at that. 
He's a really good defender. He can pressure the basketball, and he's an okay ball handler, but he can't shoot, and he's not great at getting assists. I don't think he is as good in the NBA. And if you look at some of these other guys, obviously Emmanuel quickly can't go to the NBA. Nick Richards can't go to the NBA. Montgomery not ready for the NBA. So all these guys, I think, have to come back for another season. If you give me this team with the guys that we have coming in, uh, some guys may have to play out of position next year. Keldon Johnson, uh, if he comes back, he may have to be more of a power forward next year. Um, but with the guys we have coming in, I'm not sure how you make it all work, but I just don't see any of these guys going pro and getting playing time in the NBA next year. That's a big if, and I know that Coach Cal is really good at, at, at getting rid of some of these guys maybe when he shouldn't. The Harrison Twins come to mind, uh, the Corey Johnson. Some of these guys that should have came back that ended up going pro and have been out of the league after one or two years. Cal is doing a, he's done a really good job at, at getting those guys to go pro to make room for other people. But I think if you ask him, he would love to see these guys come back. And I think throughout the year he even said that this was his most fun he's ever had coaching a team because they were coachable, first of all. And they were just, they were honestly, they were fun to watch. You know, at times they made you want to pull your hair out, but I love Tyler Hero. Uh, I loved Ashton Hagens. Now, yesterday he might have been the main reason we lost, but at, at parts in the season he was absolutely dominant. And he was a one-man wrecking crew on defense. And don't tell me you wouldn't love to see another year of, uh, of Kelton Johnson. That guy, even though he never really stepped up and was huge, he has the makings of a guy that can be. He's got to go back to the way he played early on in the season for him to be a huge factor in college basketball. But he has that ability, and I think he can do that. But he's just got to go back to the way he played early on this season to be able to kind of uh, uh, be that go-to guy. But I think he can do that. So to me, I don't think any of these guys can go to the NBA and get playing time. Uh, Washington might be able to play on a bad team if, if the Magic or the Hawks or somebody like that were to draft him. Um, or maybe if a team like Boston or somebody got him to kind of make him a project, he could maybe find a spot in a couple of years. But I don't think any of these guys go pro and kind of make a name for themselves in year one like we've seen in years past from people that come from Kentucky. I don't even think any of these guys were a Kevin Knox who was kind of came on late in the season, had a really good year for the New York Knicks. I don't think any of these guys can even be that good next year in the NBA. So it'll be interesting to see now that we know for sure Cal is coming back, um, who plans to stay and who plans to go. Uh, I think all these guys need to take, a, take their time and make the right decision. But as, as we stand right now, I don't think any of these guys can go to the NBA and make a name for themselves as a rookie. We are here on the Wallingford Sports Show. We are served up by Buffalo Wild Wings in the Richmond Center. Earlier on in this show, we, have our, we had our law officer, Patrick O'Neill, Facebook poll as to which coach yesterday should have taken the most heat for his team's loss, Coach K from Duke or Coach Cal from Kentucky. 64% said Coach K and Duke. 36% said Calipari and Kentucky. And our Facebook poll is brought to you by the law office of Patrick O'Neill. He is located in Breathitt County, but he serves all over central and eastern Kentucky. If you need help with deeds and wills, workers' compensation class, uh, cases, criminal defense cases, uh, disability cases, whatever the case may be, call Patrick O'Neill, 606-666-2990 for a free consultation and as always we are brought to you by uh, Jack Burford Chevrolet as well the traveling Jack Burford Chevrolet Studios, Honchel's Men's Store in the West Urban Plaza and by King Brothers Used Cars in Winchester. In our next segment we will crown our King Brothers Used Cars Player of the Week and uh, we will dive into just how good our local teams did last week as well. Live from Buffalo Wild Wings folks do not go anywhere. This is the Walling for Sports Show. 
At King Brothers Used Cars in Winchester, you don't have to worry about the hassles of dealing with an aggressive salesman. They strive to make you feel comfortable and help you find the car you're looking for at the best price possible. Stop by today and get your key and drive off in a new-to-you vehicle from King Brothers Used Cars on West Lexington Avenue in Winchester. Or stop by their Facebook page for updates and their website, kingbrotherscars.com, to check out their inventory. King Brothers Used Cars, family-owned and time-tested since 1966. Ponchels in Irvin is your year-round stop for Carhartt Isod Lee jeans and boots. Prepare yourself for hunting with a huge selection of Carhartt bibs, coats, and other hunting gear. Don't forget about the big selection of hunting and work boots from Wolverine, Justin, Rocky, and more. As always, Honchels carries all the latest in Kentucky and Estill Engineer apparel and Skechers and New Balance for the little ones. The same great staff, same great personalized service, always at Honchels on the Richmond Road in Irvin. Patrick O'Neill has been serving Central and Eastern Kentucky since 1995. When someone is accused of something they didn't do, or when a good person makes a mistake, they need the best representation they can find. And that's Patrick O'Neill. Whether it's criminal defense, social security, disability, personal injury, workers' compensation, or deeds and wills, when you need legal advice, trust the expertise of Patrick O'Neill. He will get you the money you deserve. His office is located in Jackson, but Patrick practices all over Central and Eastern Kentucky. For more information or for a free consultation, call 606-66. 662990. Escape to sports with Buffalo Wild Wings. GM Tommy Martin invites you to come watch your favorite team play at Buffalo Wild Wings. The best game day atmosphere and happy hour in town. Menu items as low as $2 each, each weekday, 2 to 7, and again 10 till close. Plus wing specials every Tuesday and Thursday. Don't forget to ask your server about the Blazing Rewards program and see how you can earn free food. Buffalo Wild Wings, Richmond Center. We've got Kinetic Blue. We've got Cajun Red. We've got Storm Blue Metallic. We've got Mosaic Black Metallic. We've got Summit White. What are we talking about? Jack Burford Chevrolet Equinoxes. You can get up to $8,000 off on select Chevy Equinox models. Check them out at jackburford.com and be sure to subscribe to our Jack Burford Chevrolet YouTube channel too. Back here on the Wallet for Sports Show. Glad to have you along at Buffalo Wild Wings in the Richmond Center. I just spoke to Tommy, the new GM here. Well, he's not new anymore, but the GM here at the Buffalo Wild Wings in the Richmond Center. And it is confirmed, Buffalo Wild Wings, this Friday, the weather has been absolutely amazing out. They're going to open up their patio this weekend on Friday. And you can start eating outside. You can enjoy the beautiful weather we've been having. And uh, just have a fun time with the kids and the family over here at Buffalo Wild Wings. It's a great place to watch a game. It's a great family atmosphere and a cool place to just come over and hang out and, and grab a drink with your buddies and just uh, talk sports. Uh, you can play on the games and, and just have a fun time here at Buffalo Wild Wings in the Richmond Center. And once again, they will be opening up their patio on Friday right here behind Austin and I. And uh, just come on out. And then a couple of weeks, they've got the, the music that starts. I'm not sure when that begins over here in Richmond. Uh, in the Richmond Center, but they have the music outside. If you like live music, you can come over here to sit at the patio at B-Dubs and enjoy the live music right over here behind us as well. Uh, this week, uh, Madison Central, Madison Southern, Estill County, Model Berea in baseball and softball action. It was a busy week for all of our local teams. Uh, Madison Central is currently down in Fort Walton Beach, Florida playing in a tournament down there. It is the Fort Walton Beach Bash. As of now, they have won two games in that uh, little tournament, knocking off Nelson County 12-2 and Owensboro 6-5. They will also play Niceville, Florida, Allen County, Scottsville, Spencer County, and all those games being played in Fort Walton Beach, Florida. And uh, as of right now, the Indians... Uh, Tough stretch last week, losing three in a row before the two wins in this tournament. But those losses come to Cooper, uh, Louisville, Trinity, and to Woodford County. And a game that we had for you on WBON TV last week. Final score of that game was two to one. The Indians will come back next week and play at home versus PRP, Corbin, and Mel. And then in a couple of weeks, on April 15th, they will take on Madison Southern in a game that we will have for you here on WBON TV. Speaking of the Eagles, pretty good week for them last week after losing five straight games to begin the season. 
Madison Southern under their new coach, Travis Frythe, uh, reeled off three straight wins, a 7-5 win over Western Hills, a 10-0 win over Lincoln County, and a 6-4 win over Whitley County last week to kind of uh, help stem the tide and get them back in the win column. Three straight wins for Madison Southern last week. And then Estill County began the season 2-2, two and two, but have lost two out of their last three games to two of the top teams in the 14th region, losing to Hazard 11 to nothing uh, on March 29th last Friday, and then on Saturday at home lost to Knott County Central 9-6. to six. So the Engineers currently uh, with three wins and uh, three losses on the season. They will take on Lee County tomorrow in a game that you can hear on WIRV. So if you're an Estill County fan, we'll have that game for you tomorrow. The next TV game for Estill County will be next Monday as we will have the sports show coming at you live from Estill County High School. Prior to that game, it'll be Estill County and Madison Southern next Monday from Estill County. And again, we will have the sports show there prior to the game. And in the game, we'll, I think the game starts at 5.30. And the show will be, let's see, the game starts at 6. So what we'll do is we'll have the show from 5 to 6, and then the game will begin at 6 o'clock on WBON-TV next week. As for our softball teams, I know a couple of games last week got rained out for Madison Central and Madison Southern. That's a game we had planned to have for you here on WBON-TV. The game got rained out, so we ended up moving the sports show and everything over here to Buffalo Wild Wings. Lady Indians are also uh, at Fort Walton Beach. They are playing in the same tournament the boys are playing in. But on the softball side, they have lost two games thus far to Central Harden and Assumption. And Lady Indians right now sit with three wins and four losses. Last week, of course, uh, losing to Rock Castle County and uh, defeated Mercer County last week as the uh, one and one record from the games over the last week. Uh, Madison Southern, of course, the, with the game being canceled with Madison Central, that game, I think, has been rescheduled for a couple of weeks away. We'll try to find that date for you and get it on WBON-TV. But uh, the Lady Eagles had a huge week last week, knocking off previously one lost Woodford County and then also but a very good Rock Castle County team uh, last week. Uh, the only loss for the Lady Eagles last week came against Boyle County in a 5-4 loss that went into extra innings. So a very good week for Madison Southern. And uh, for Estill County, the Lady Engineers, also playing under new head coach Amy Kaler. Estill County lost one earlier this season to Madison Central. Uh, last week was able to pick up wins over Breathitt County and Somerset but lost to Garrett County and to Tate's Creek. So kind of an up and down week for all of our coverage area teams. Um, when, you, when you look at the, the way this season has gone thus far, it's been a, a lot of trying to figure things out. Obviously for Madison Southern, you lose your head coach right before the very first game of the season uh, as Gene Combs resigned on the Friday before the season started. The Eagles played their first game on the following Monday and uh, again, started it off the season with five straight losses before winning their last three games. And uh, when you look at our, our, the way our teams are playing right now, I think we're going to have a very good season. Madison Southern's girls are now ranked in the top 25. Last week entered the, the week with, no, with not a ranking. Now they're ranked number 21. And a lot of that kind of goes to the way that their pitching has been. And with that being said, we will have Austin pull up our King Brothers Used Cars Players of the Week. On the girls' side, Tessa Jewett is our King Brothers Used Cars Player of the Week. Tessa has been incredible the first two weeks of the season. She proved once again that she can be a force pitching for Madison Southern in two big outings last week. On Thursday, Southern knocked off top 15 ranked Woodford County one to nothing a game in which Jewett went the distance, pitching the shutout and striking out 13 batters. And then on Saturday, Jewett and the Lady Eagles rode over Rock Castle County 3 to nothing. Tessa struck out 9 on her way to another shutout victory. And Madison Southern has now made their way into the top 25 rankings in the state, currently sitting at number 21. So congratulations to them being ranked in the top 25. As for the boys' side, an eighth grader right now has been dominant 
for the Eagles of Madison Southern as Michael Bannister Jr. is our King Brothers Used Cars Player of the Week on the boys' side. After an interesting start to the season, losing their head coach right before their first game and losing five straight to begin the season, the Madison Southern Eagles have picked, up, picked it up last week as they knocked off uh, Western Hills, Lincoln County, and Whitley County. A large part of their success last week can be contributed to its middle school, or to its middle infield, excuse me. Britton Robinson, who was named an underclassman honorable mention All-American by Rawlings. And our player of the week, Michael Bannister Jr., who is now leading the 11th region in hitting with a 530 batting average. He also leads the team with hits, uh, in, with 12 of those, and is tied for the team lead in runs scored. Southern will be in action on WBON TV on Thursday as they take on Jackson County. So congratulations to our King Brothers Used Cars Players of the Week, Michael Bannister Jr. on the boys' side and Tessa Jewett on the girls' side. As far as our schedule this week, on Tuesday tomorrow, Danny Wood and Blaine Click will have the call on the radio as Madison, or excuse me, as Estill County takes on Lee County in a big 56th district matchup. That game can be heard on 99.3 WIRV. On Thursday, Donald Foster and Rick Maudley will have the call as Madison Southern takes on Jackson County. That game can be heard on WKXO 103.5, or you can watch that game live here on WBON TV. A fun show. Once again, we want to say thank you to all of our great sponsors. Once again, guys, if you're out and about and you're looking for a great place to grab a burger, grab some wings, have a drink with a friend, watch a ball game, the best atmosphere to do so is right here at Buffalo Wild Wings in the Richmond Center. You can check back on WBON TV's Facebook page. There's a coupon that you can come over here and use. 15% off, you can use that and uh, get you a good uh, deal over here at Buffalo Wild Wings. Don't forget about the deals on Tuesday and Thursday on their wings. And again, the best burger in town. New, fresh, never frozen burgers right here at Buffalo Wild Wings in the Richmond Center. Uh, don't forget about King Brothers Used Cars. If you're looking for a great new-to-you vehicle, King Brothers Used Cars on West Lexington Avenue in Winchester has a ton of great deals. They have the top-of-the-line used vehicles. You can check out their website, kingbrotherscars.com, for more details there. The Law Office of Patrick O'Neill sponsors our Facebook poll every Monday. You can check them out or give them a call at 606-666-2990 if you need legal advice. And as always, Honshul's Men's Store in the West Irvine Plaza. They do a great job of making us look good, sound good. And uh, if you're looking for some good golf clothes, you know, Easter is right around the corner. If you're looking for that, that shirt to wear to church on Easter Sunday, Honshul's has that for you. And, guys, prom season is just around the corner. Get to Honchels in the West Irvine Plaza and get measured for your prom tuxedo over there in Irvine. And, as always, we come at you live every Monday courtesy of the traveling Jack Burford Chevrolet Studios. You can go on over there to uh, jackburfordchevrolet.com and uh, check out their great deals. Uh, Truck Month was last month, and they have a ton of new Chevrolet Silverados on the lot. Go over there and check those out, or you can subscribe to the YouTube channel for Jack Burford Chevrolet and take a test drive on some of their new Chevrolets on the lot at Jack Burford Chevrolet. It is a busy week for us. We've got the Reds back in action. Uh, the Reds are currently on the TV here. The sound is going over top of us. If you're a baseball fan or just a sports fan in general, it's a great time to, to get out and get over here to Buffalo Wild Wings. you got baseball starting up. The NBA playoffs are right around the corner. Uh, you got college basketball wrapping up. It's a great time to be a sports fan. The NFL draft is coming up later on this month. So if you're a sports fan, make sure to remember Buffalo Wild Wings here in the Richmond Center. And don't forget, coming up on Friday, they will open up their their lob or their um, patio. If you want to come out, eat outside, enjoy this awesome weather we've been having, and uh, have a good time outside here at Buffalo Wild Wings. From all of us, we have uh, want to say thank you for tuning us in tonight. Next Monday, we will be over in Estill County prior to the Eagles and uh, the Engineers baseball game. It'll be Madison Southern and Estill County next Monday. That game will be live on WIRV, WKXO, and you can watch it live here on WBON TV. The sports show will be from 5 to 6 next Monday, and then the game will be uh, starting right at 6 o'clock on all those stations and on WBON TV. And uh, tomorrow, it'll be Estill County and Lee County on the radio on WIRV. On Thursday, it'll be Madison Southern and Jackson County on WKXO and here on WBON-TV. 
And, of course, don't forget about the Reds. The Reds are currently playing on WEKY. Flip over there and catch the Reds game as well. From all of us here, also thanks to our producer, me, I'm Michael Watkins. Thanks for listening, and thanks for watching the Walling for Sports Show. At King Brothers Used Cars in Winchester, you don't have to worry about the hassles of dealing with an aggressive salesman. They strive to make you feel comfortable and help you find the car you're looking for at the best price possible. Stop by today and get your key and drive off in a new-to-you vehicle from King Brothers Used Cars on West Lexington Avenue in Winchester. Or stop by their Facebook page for updates and their website, kingbrotherscars.com, to check out their inventory. King Brothers Used Cars, family-owned and time-tested since 1966. Ponchels in Irvin is your year-round stop for Carhartt Eyeside Lee Jeans and Boots. Prepare yourself for hunting with a huge selection of Carhartt bibs, coats, and other hunting gear. Don't forget about the big selection of hunting and work boots from Wolverine, Justin, Rocky, and more. As always, Honchels carries all the latest in Kentucky and Estill Engineer apparel and Skechers and New Balance for the little ones. The same great staff, same great personalized service always at Honchels on the Richmond Road in Irvin. Patrick O'Neill has been serving Central and Eastern Kentucky since 1995. When someone is accused of something they didn't do, or when a good person makes a mistake, they need the best representation they can find. And that's Patrick O'Neill. Whether it's criminal defense, social security, disability, personal injury, workers' compensation, or deeds and wills, when you need legal advice, trust the expertise of Patrick O'Neill. He will get you the money you deserve. His office is located in Jackson, but Patrick practices all over Central and Eastern Kentucky. For more information or for a free consultation, call 606-66. Escape to sports with Buffalo Wild Wings. GM Tommy Martin invites you to come watch your favorite team play at Buffalo Wild Wings. The best game day atmosphere and happy hour in town. Menu items as low as $2 each, each weekday, 2 to 7, and again 10 till close. Plus, wing specials every Tuesday and Thursday. Don't forget to ask your server about the Blazing Rewards program and see how you can earn free food. Buffalo Wild Wings, Richmond Center. We've got Kinetic Blue. We've got Cajun Red. We've got Storm Blue Metallic. We've got Mosaic Black Metallic. We've got Summit White. What are we talking about? Jack Burford Chevrolet Equinoxes. You can get up to $8,000 off on select Chevy Equinox models. Check them out at jackburford.com and be sure to subscribe to our Jack Burford Chevrolet YouTube channel too.